Have you ever dreamed about this? I know I have. What it would be like to actually go to space, maybe spend some time there. Now you can get a taste thanks to this new exhibit at the Future of Flight Aviation Center and Boeing Tour. And here to share his experiences with us, former NASA astronaut Nicholas Patrick. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, uh, we were talking a little bit between the break. You have calculated 600 hours in space. That's a little over a month. Something like that on two shuttle missions to the space station, yes. Tell us your experience. What was that like? Uh, space is the most amazing place. Uh, you, you get to float around, which is wonderful, relaxing, and interesting. And the view of the Earth is just spectacular. You're traveling at five miles a second over the planet, and what you see changes literally every second. And you see the most beautiful colors, the sunrises and sunsets 16 times a day. It's really beautiful. And now we've seen some of that just from images from, you know, millions of miles away. But what is it like for you actually being there? Is it, how does it compare to the images we see? Well, partly it's better because you're yeah. there and you know you're hundreds of miles above the planet. Uh, something that very few people have been privileged to do. Uh, and you have this unique perspective of the planet without political borders. It's just a, mm -hmm. a, a beautiful mix of colors and textures. You're floating over it, as I said, very quickly. And the view's constantly changing. And you see a natural planet, not not a political map, not the maps we grew up with, but uh, a world without borders and with beautiful sights. Patrick, what is the module Destiny? What is that about? Destiny is the space station's lab, laboratory. Okay. And it, at, at the beginning of the space station's life, it was the place where almost everything happened on the American side, sleeping, eating, science, and, and storage. It was a, a huge storage space. As the space station has grown to be now much larger than a 747, um, the, the lab is now specifically for doing science, and we're doing science on the space station that helps us understand aging and human response to space. We're learning to grow plants that we'll need if we're going to travel great distances to, say, Mars or beyond. Uh, we're doing all of that in the Destiny Station Lab. Incredible. How can you explain uh, the importance of, of being out in space and still exploring? There's so much that we don't know to maybe naysayers and people who say, okay, we have other things that we need to be spending our money on. There are always other things to spend right. our money on, but I think space is really important for two things. It's a great place to do science. Um, and anytime you can do science away from the, the normal environment, you learn something different. Um, it's also really inspirational. Um, not just because of the views, um, but it gives you a perspective, as I said, a perspective of your planet without borders, a perspective of the uh, Earth as being a spaceship that we have to look after. Um, and I think it really helps inspire youngsters to get interested in mm -hmm. science and math and to follow what I think are really exciting and challenging careers in aerospace, which this is a, a, a great region, region for aerospace, and we want our youngsters to come up and see the Destiny exhibit at the Future of Flight. and. Uh, go home with this idea that there's a future for them in aerospace. Tell me more about this exhibit. Like, what's the experience like if we're going out to, you know, be a part of it? Well, up at the Future of Flight, we have a life-size, very realistic mock-up of the Destiny Lab uh, on, in our exhibit gallery. And uh, when, as you walk through it, it has glass floors, so you can feel a bit like you're floating through the space station. And you can see how how, in, in a sense, how confining the inside of the space station is while you imagine how expansive the outside view is. Um, and you can see where astronauts sleep. We have a sleep station in this, and you can, uh, you can really get a sense of what it would be like to live in space here. Now, it sounds very cool, but I mean, there are ap actual implications. I mean, what are people learning when you're going to see this besides just the amazing experience? Yeah. Well, you learn at the Future of Flight, you learn about the aerospace technologies okay. involved in building things like the space station or advanced passenger jets. Um, you get to see the scope and the scale of the International Space Station. This is not a small thing. This is the largest thing that's ever been built in space. And this lab, as big as it is, is just one of over a dozen modules of the space station. So you, you get to understand, you get to take home uh, what an enormous international endeavor something like a uh, space flight really is. Amazing. Before we let you go here just very quickly, how can we get tickets? Uh, the best way to do that is to visit the futureofflight.org website and then uh, come on up to Payne Field in Muckleteo, take the Boeing tour, and come and see the Destiny exhibit in our aerospace gallery. Absolutely incredible. Patrick, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see what it's like inside that International Space Station, check out the Destiny. It is at the Future of Flight Aviation Center in Boeing Tour right now. This is the exhibit's first weekend, and it's open to the public. So it's expected to stay at the Flight Center for about three years. You have some time there, but why not? And uh, go out and experience it now. We have more information about how to get tickets on our website, q13fox.com.